Uh, well, let's listen to um, Chelsea manager uh, Antonio Conte and, and um, Tottenham manager uh, that's talking about Mauricio Pochettino. Uh, their reaction after that game, and I allow my guys in the studio talk about um, the games and um, the impact of the results. The important thing was that we show a great character. We were very competitive, but maybe that, that was the problem last season. Uh, play again a, a very good team like, like Chelsea. I think one of the, the best teams on, on Europe today. I think that was plenty of confidence. I think it was solid. I think it's important, that was important for us to reduce the gap. I think now is the top four is is, is 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 very competitive. It's very close. We are. It's to the gap uh, still is important for Chelsea, but uh, I think it was a, perf a perfect thing for us to to arrive and uh, to the third place and and, and and be close and be close. That is a lot of that is important for us and it's a lot of uh, game uh, to. To arrive for uh, for the end of the season, and I think it's all can happen. All right, welcome back. Uh, that was uh, Mauricio Pochettino talking about last night's game uh, with Chelsea. Let's leave the English Premier League and talk about the CAF Awards just coming in. Club of the Year, Mamelodi Sundowns of South Africa. I don't know if it comes as a surprise, but. They didn't do too well at the uh, FIFA Club World Cup, but they done enough. They won the CAF Champions League. I had a soft spot for TP Mazembe, I must say, uh, but I didn't see Zesco United in the class of any of the two. Uh, but Mamelodi, uh, Femi, uh, you, you were talking about how much love you have for Mamelodi Sundowns. Yes, uh, they call them the Brazilians. Yes. You, you need not ask why uh, the way they are, they are dressed. Uh, they are very, uh, they are very flamboyant, very gallant side, and they play exciting football. I think one of the best brands, you know, to come out of Africa. Honestly, you don't expect them to do that much, you know, at the FIFA, FIFA not... World Club, mm -hmm. really. Uh, because um, when you look at the level at which you know, these clubs play, it's, it's a lot different. And There's a golfing class. Yes, total golfing class, which we need to now look for, look at, you know, how to break in. But, but, but these guys have done themselves well. Although they came in, you know, through the back door at some point mm -hmm. in, the, in the Champions League, but guess what? They earned it in the end. So we must give them credit for you that. Know, going away, you know, get, getting the results, finishing up at home. So they, they've done well for themselves. I think they deserve this. This is. Totally, just like the way the Falcons deserve the national um, team. For me, the for me, I don't, I don't think there is actually that real golf in class when you're talking about the World Club Championship. For me, apart from the European team and the South American ones, and the South American, even the South American teams are actually really poor these days. Okay, for me. So you, you were disappointed with Sunday. I was really disappointed. I expected them to at least. But it doesn't change the fact that Africa's best. No, 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 no. The Africa's best. You know, they they did well winning the CAF Champions League. You know, so but I expected a lot more from them. At the World Club Championship, I was thinking maybe at least they would, you know, get to the semi-finals. Semi-finals, before, okay. You know, All right, well, we keep filling you in with um, um, the winners uh, as they come. Uh, the prestigious CAF Awards going down in Abuja. Let's be fast now and uh, talk about the FA Cup. Uh, usually in January, the FA Cup starts and. Uh, a lot of teams will be in action uh, this weekend. Uh, everything starts tomorrow. West Ham taking on Manchester City. But let's see if we can bring to you some of the fixtures. Um, selected ones, uh, that is, uh, a lot of teams uh, in action. Arsenal will be taking on, the, is it Preston? Preston, Preston, Preston Ma North Manchester Hand. United, Reading, yeah. uh, West Tottenham, Ospo, Aston Villa. I think that will be uh, one to watch out for as well. Yes, my say Aston Villa is no longer the powerhouse yeah. that they used to be. Uh, but I think the Chelsea, were, um, Chelsea has. Um, uh, have a small team in Petersburg, you know, to play. Yeah, so um, we had the tickets play. are sold out now. Uh, everybody gets the opportunity to see the league leaders. The tickets so will be right play. from today. The big sold boys. out. When big boys I mean, come to town. When, when, when the big boys equal, come to town. When you equal the English record of wins, uh, 13 straight. Um, of course, you everybody wants the pride to of the park. And everyone wants to see, but, but must give credit to, to Chelsea. I think they play fantastic football. Yeah. You know, having started in a rough patch, they managed to, to get, get themselves together and they've been playing brilliantly all through all departments. Uh, very little to fault, but Tottenham, of course, showed them that um, you can me, only be consistent for that for, long. Yeah. Uh, you would always be broken. A quick one, um, me. I guess Tottenham just wanted it more. 
Um, well, I, I feel it was a, it was a tactical actually. It was a tactical game from my own point of view because Chelsea played 3-4-3 and the Tottenham manager have seen him play 3-4-3 this season before. He played it against Arsenal when he came to the Emirates and they actually shut down Arsenal that day. Arsenal didn't play anything. So as soon as I saw him, you know, coming out with the same 3-4-3 yesterday and I saw Dembele and then Wanyama, I knew Chelsea were actually in for a rough time. They actually they played them off the park. They were so they were tough with them. They were rough as well. And they didn't give Costa, you know, the opportunity to, you know, to bully them. And you know, Hazard was almost missing apart from a few you know touches here yeah, touches here and there so for me tottenham actually outplayed them and tactically their coach work was actually better all right on the night.